Hi guys, welcome to the uh, new room here at that free part of the Made in Online Guitar Lessons. I'm going to talk today about harmonics and uh, the different ways you can create them and the different kinds that there are. And I'm going to start with quite simple stuff called natural harmonics, but they sound fantastic nonetheless. I'm going to show you how to do all of them with close ups because I think often they're rushed over and people don't show you how to do them and they don't often explain why, which is also part of the key of unlocking all the really interesting stuff you can do with them. So uh, first things first, if you have a guitar switch to the bridge pickup, you get a tone with plenty of treble because it helps bring out the harmonics and otherwise you may not be able to hear them properly. As you get better you can produce them on acoustics with uh, really soft warm tones and all sorts, but at start uh, I'd recommend you switch to the bridge pickup. Okay. So if we play the high E string, okay, that's the open high E string, no fret notes. Now, at the 12th fret, there's a natural harmonic, and I'll show you how to sign this in a second. That's the sign of a harmonic, you've probably heard that elsewhere before. Okay, so to sign that out, what you need to do is just take left index finger and touch the string. Don't press down, very lightly touch the string above the actual metal at the 12th fret. And this works, of course, on the other strings. Okay, my low string is tuned to some horrendous drop tuning at the minute, so I wouldn't worry about the strange side of that. Yours should sound like this. Sounds nice. And uh, basically what's happened there is we cut the string in half. This the string's been cut in two by your finger, and that means that you get twice the vibrations in a second, so you get pitch an octave higher. So, the next place logically to go is to split the string into quarters, and if you go to the fifth fret, you get an octave up from that. So, just again. Okay, so I understand now, you may be confused because this is the 12th fret. Surely six should be the half. It's not. It's the actual distance and the frets get narrower as they go up. Now another thing to note is, this happens on the other side as well, what you need to go is 12th fret, 24th fret. And that's the same distance away from the bridge as this is from the nut. And you can do all kinds of fun things as well when you know the seventh fret is an octave and a fifth, because then you can combine those three and get all kinds of cool things. So. Okay, so while that wasn't perfect, you got the idea, you can mess around with that. Okay, so you're thinking like, well, surely I can go to the two and a half fret and get an even higher harmonic. And you can, but you can hear the way they're just at the edge of hearing. And what you need to bring that out is... Good old fashioned mother distortion. So that brings out the trebles and it also compresses your sound. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. But it, essentially, it brings out your harmonics. So, messing around with the random harmonics and it sounds damn cool. Okay, so natural harmonics. Easiest place to get them, 12th fret. Then the 7th, then the 5th, there's also harmonics at the 4th, and after that you start getting into the really high ones that are very awkward. Okay, so the next trick is artificial harmonics. Now, that's the cool That's the G on the low E string, the third fret. So if you go up 12 frets from that to the 15th fret, 
and we fret that with our right index finger like we would a natural harmonic, touching the string above the fret. And pluck that with our thumb, we get that. Harmonics. So an artificial harmonic, 12th fret, G string, I'm going to play the artificial harmonic at the 24th fret. And then one at the 19th. And then if I'm lucky, I'll be able to get the one here at the 17th. Okay.